have you been doing the last couple of years? Let's catch that side up, and then we'll tell the story of where sure. this has been and where it's going, and we won't bore you to death. But we figure we owe you that explanation because yeah. I'm getting a lot of questions, and we knew there'd be a little bit of an education. And where we're going with this is actually – the cooler part of the story, uh, mm -hmm. if you will, in our business, we call this like the soft launch. Yeah. Uh, but it's really not a launch for us because we're just back together talking sports and having a show just at a different time. But yeah. what have you been doing? So what have I been doing? So I, I've been out of the radio game for about a year now. And um, literally just, you know, as the, as the cool thing is to say, I've been working on myself, Brent. You know oh. what I'm saying? I've been working on myself. So, I like that. Um, That's yeah. deep. Yeah, oh, it's really deep. Um, but that means just playing video games, watching <laughs> anime, um, hanging out with my son. That's about it. Uh, but yeah, but <laughs> set aside from that, um, I did actually have one other job opportunity that was not in the radio that I applied for that I didn't get. Do you care to take a guess what this job is? Wow, I didn't know this. You I mean, did not I've, I've know. I've taught you a lot over the last couple of months. The only people that know this might be my mom and a couple close friends, and that's it. All right. Is it in Jacksonville? True, we play 20 questions here. We can play the 20 questions. Yes, it's in Jacksonville. <laughs> All right, so a, a job outside of the media world? Oh, yeah. There's, there's no, no, nothing close to media at all. Okay. Um, obviously, you're already fighting. Your football career's over. Correct. So you got to check those boxes. I don't think there's anywhere around here you can be a beekeeper. I mean, I don't think Miles Jack still lives here in Jacksonville because, I mean, he, he had a he bunch does. of bees. I think he does. Oh, does he? Well, then maybe I could have helped Miles Jack. You could have helped, no. but that's not the that's not the. Does that's this the pay thing. well? It pays okay. Well, you wouldn't apply. Tips. Tips are, are a thing. Tips are a thing. Tips are a thing. Oh, it, it, Hamby just jumped in. Valet. And we'll get to the Hamby cam soon, but yeah. valet job, man, it's the best job I've ever had. I know. Well, this is a pretty damn good job, too, but uh, the, the valet job's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's um, a grappa in Providence, by the way. That's it, where that was. It wasn't a valet job. I'll give you one more hint, though. <laughs> My whole philosophy behind applying for this job was when I got in there, I was going to be at a competitive advantage because I felt like everybody else was going to be kind of lackadaisical. Hmm. I don't want to hammer city workers here, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Brent. <laughs> first, first day on the show. <laughs> Careful now. Uh, you, uh, gosh, I'm not good. I, you know, before you told me those last two hints, I was thinking Bucky's because it pays really well. Yeah, it does. <laughs> like yes. we were just going over this yeah. the other day. It pays really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like be a car wash like manager at Bucky's, and well, if this doesn't work out, we're going there next mm -hmm. type of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's in retail. And the reason why I didn't get the job is because I didn't have any kind of retail um, qualifications. Experience. Yeah. You need retail qualifications. Apparently for this one. Uh, man. Um, <laughs> I mean, you can outwork people in retail? Yes. I mean, what kind of commissions yes. do you get in retail? I'm, the, the, the whole philosophy behind this was the fact that when I showed up day one, I was going to be at such an advantage with my mindset and my work ethic that I was going to blow everybody else out of the water. Done? You, 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 you. I was going to go with like escape room. You're not getting paid like commissions <laughs> in an escape, escape room. room. No. Um, yeah. No, absolutely I mean, not. I, mean, I don't think he's going car into cars, right but I would. I mean, if you need a job, maybe Nimic Buick GMC, we can help let's you go, out. Let's go. Let's um, go. I don't know, man. So, hey, Camby, you, Hamby, you got anything? You got any kind of guess? I mean, you kind of have guessed a little bit already, but we'll introduce you to Hamby. Like, he's the mystery yeah. man right now, but nothing? Retail that, you can, that he was going to have an advantage over? A, a distinct advantage. Oh, a male mug. That's not have a you retail. Seen, is that yeah, a have, retail that's thing? That's not a retail thing. All have right, you, give it to and me. And have you seen this mug? No. Anybody um, else got it on anybody? Overnight stock guy. Nope. Walmart manager. Nope. Floor, floor walker, walker at, at Dillard's. Dillard's. <laughs> what, is, what is a floor walker? Just saying what's up to people? How about a greeting? Greetings at Walmart. Yeah, yeah. No, no. So I actually um, applied to a few cannabis companies to sell cannabis. <laughs> um, I, I was going to be a bud tender, Brent. I was going to be a bud tender and sell cannabis. Now, here's the thing. I wouldn't have been under the influence when I was working. Everybody else, I feel like, is at those places. <laughs> so you're talking about a guy who comes in day one, you know, shows off the work ethic. I, I could have been manager. I could have been probably a, a prime investor in stock in a year. You cut, probably would have killed. Yeah, but they, um, but they said no because I don't have retail experience. I'm like, really? it's really not so that hard. So you did hard. not get that job because Didn't of retail job. experience? Didn't get the job. I mean, how many people have retail experience in that field? It's only been like a field for like three years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. I should have just lied on my resume. You should have just said that you were from Colorado. That's a good point, too, as well. Yeah, I feel like you're, you're, you're very bursting. I'm from Colorado? Oh, what are you, from Alabama in football? Yeah, let's go. We're going to get you a first round. Let's do this. <laughs> Brent Martineau, Austin Lane. So this actually leads very well into a little bit of a history lesson for five minutes. <laughs> okay. Oh, it does. Okay. Because 
five years ago and we started over on ESPN 690, started the show. I call Austin. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, well, not really much. I obviously training for MMA and um, I'm driving Uber. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's what you were doing. I was doing that. Because you were bored. Correct. By the way, it wasn't because like, hey, I got to go pay the rent or whatever. Yes. And, and maybe it was part of that, a little extra money. Yeah. But it was like, I'm bored. Mm -hmm. So we did a mock show driving in the car. For 10 minutes and I was like okay I think this can work yeah so that's how we started and we did it for three years yeah now um tell the real story though how you told me all right we'll talk about some Florida State Seminoles and everything because it's gonna be you know Florida State heavy show that's as well true. this was the mock this, this was, was the like, mock. I gave him 24 hours to get ready for the Jags correct the Gators and the Knolls correct like b big bullet points so yep exactly so I spent oh I don't know I was back home in Wisconsin at the time over the holidays I probably spent four hours researching the Florida State Seminoles the history of the Florida State Seminoles all the coaches all the players um the ups the downs I could have did a TED talk about Florida State Seminoles <laughs> needless to say when it's time to do the mock show what do we talk about hey Austin give me give me your thoughts on the Jaguars okay the end no Florida State Seminoles, <laughs> no Florida Gators. Listen, you passed just the test, man. I didn't have to go too deep. <laughs> I, I guess was like, so. I got this. We got this. Yeah, we yeah, got yeah. this. So we did it for a while. Shock Your Mock was born. Mm -hmm. NBA Slam Poetry was born. We're yes. bringing some stuff back. Yeah. Some stuff, maybe with new twists. Of course. Uh, but we really had a nice run over at ESPN 690. And along, we've got to give a shout out to Justin Kuzart, mm -hmm. Nick Fagg, guys like that that started that up. I mean, we started that station from scratch with sports radio. Yeah. And um, we started it, though, with social media. Because we knew it was AM radio, which has a, a wonderful signal, by the way, uh, here in Jacksonville. goes all the way up to, like, Charleston, South Carolina, down to Melbourne. I mean, it's a huge signal, legendary signal. But we started it on uh, this part, what you're seeing it on right here. And it was pretty ugly at first. <laughs> but um, we started it and, and grew it and grew it and grew it. And uh, then you went away mm -hmm. because you were doing WAPE and – ESPN yeah. 690. Both, yep. And you left um, at the draft. Mm -hmm. um, I won't forget. Uh, and <laughs> How could you? And then uh, <laughs> teamed up with Megan yes. um, in the mornings. Yep. And I don't know how long that was, about a year? Uh, about two years. Oh, was that total. about two years? I think it was well, about two, two years. years because one with ESPN 690. Correct, and one correct. Without. Yes, yes, uh, yes. And then meanwhile, we got oh, Casey Kurtz had joined us in place of Coos. Yes. Because he went to do other things inside the radio station. Casey came on board. And during that time, Casey, like, saved the station. Yeah. Because we were like, whoa, what's going on here? Mm -hmm. um, pushing a lot of buttons. Nick Fig had moved on. Mm -hmm. New program director in over there. There was a little bit of a goofy time. Uh, did a great job. Aaron Schachter joins us. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the last couple of years, it's been Casey, Aaron Schachter, and myself. Brian Middleton, by the way, in the mix sometimes, too. And the entire Action Sports Shacks team. So uh, we ended up celebrating five years uh, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, you know, it's funny because, you know, we go back to those years when I essentially, you know, unfortunately had to leave this show uh, or, you know, leave the ESPN 690 show. Um, do you remember what you texted me right after I left? Probably something to the effect of we'll be back together again. So, I mean, yeah. So to, to be fair, to kind of clue everybody in, you know, go behind the scenes a little bit. Obviously, it wasn't your decision for me to leave, you know, um, and you fought tooth and nail to try to keep me. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. But, you know, it was so sweet what you said. Basically, you said, you know, like, hey, this is kind of new to me in terms of people leaving. Um, I'm going to support you, whatever you do. I, I got your back. And maybe one day we'll work together again. And like that was, you know, that was a really sweet sentiment. I appreciate that. It meant a lot because obviously I was bummed to leave um, a show that I love very much now. You could have left it at that. You know, we, we could have just went on with our lives. Really sweet message. But then I saw those three dots blinking again. I'm like, okay, I'm going to say something else here. And very rarely am I in front of myself when I get to I don't know where it's going here. Well, here we go. Uh, this is the truth, too. I'm scrolling. Very, very rarely do I get, like, am I by myself when I get to watch the dots, you know, type something else. I'm like, wow, Brent, you just had, like, the ultimate speech here. You going to go for an encore? What else you got? And those three dots were, were listening were, to Inky a lot. Yeah. Well, and those three, <laughs> and those three dots were were humming. And all of a sudden, another message came through and said, "Oh, and by the way, if you need a pair of Shady Ray sunglasses, <laughs> make sure that you use my name and be sure to throw your wife's name on there too, and I'll reimburse you for it. <laughs> use. I'm not exaggerating. Use code word Brent. Uh, now, very good. Yeah. Now keep in mind. I didn't realize that. But that just, was good. Just got let go from the show. A little bummed. Yeah. But I got a free pair of shady rays from it. I guess. Now, <laughs> parting gifts, man. Okay. Now my response to that was a was one of those thumbs up emojis because I didn't want to talk to you. I'm just like, you got it, man. And unfortunately, I never capitalized on that. But I just want to let you know uh, um, that's what you said. You're Don't welcome, shady it. rays. By the way, <laughs> still wearing them too. There you um, go. Uh, but so anyway, fast forward all that stuff. Gets us to here. And the reason uh, to be able, we're not on radio anymore. 
and obviously we moved times, mm-hmm. and we got a new part. We're going to have a new rendition of the show either way, and uh, we kind of threw this together. Not just threw it together. It's been a little bit planned. But this idea actually is something I kind of proposed to the bosses here on the TV side some seven years ago, and before the radio even existed. And so it's not the exact thing, but we're getting to the point where we are going to launch a similar thing that we thought about way back then. And obviously on the TV side, we've got some fantastic people, the people that built this set. I mean, this was seriously an office yeah. with file. You saw it, file cabinets, desks. It hadn't been used in years since the pandemic. Mm-hmm. And um, it was kind of run down. Yeah. Hadn't been used in a few years, right? Yeah. And they have built it into this and built this thing from scratch. And obviously, we have seven cameras in here. We're going to add more. We're going to have some cool capabilities. But to be able to do it, we're going to do with it here on the TV side. We need to come off the radio side. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, love the folks over there, what, what they were able to help us with and do. And without that five years, there's no way we could do this coming up. And we're going to begin uh, in Action Sports Shacks 24-7. You see the logo on the screen right there. And that uh, it's going to be more than the show. Yeah, uh, it's going to be more content, uh, fresh content, new content, and it's a project that we've been working on a little bit, and we are going to unveil that part more in a few weeks. I mean, there's still a couple of hurdles there, but we knew we could get the show going, and then uh, we will uh, be looking at uh, that Action Sports Shacks 24/7 network coming up uh, in a bit. But a lot of gratitude for everybody that helped put this together. Everybody on the radio side, from salespeople to management to all the folks like you know, Coos and Casey and, and Aaron and uh, Middleton and all those folks that have helped out over the years to get us to this spot, uh, to be, feel comfortable to be able to do this at a new time. Yeah. And this fits your schedule very well because you work out in the morning training. Yes. Yep. Uh, Ronan's at school. Yes. I don't know if it fits my schedule very well. We're going to find <laughs> out, all right? Uh, but uh, I think it does. And uh, we're, we're looking forward to it coming up. Uh, we will be on the Action News Jacks Now app. So download it now and get used to it. You can already find our news and weather. We'll have that sports station right there. And you'll be able to see it on Roku, Google Play, Amazon, whatever, yeah, yeah. Samsung, Fire TV, Apple Plus. Like, we're going to be all over the place exactly. uh, with the show. So we're really looking forward to it. But that part's coming in a few more weeks. Uh, still have to uh, dot some I's, cross some T's on that part of it. But. Should be a lot of fun. 